All right, Hero Comics here. Thanks for something. Hero Comics hate mail. I'm gonna turn this around here so that light isn't in the way so much. Uh, yes, this is hate mail, transgender, and homosexual, atheistic, you know, all kinds of other things that go against the Bible. Uh, you know, <laughs> at least hate mail. And uh, I found screenshots from my phone. Yeah, that was a screenshot. Uh, from my phone, uh, screenshot from my phone that have uh, mostly negative comments uh, on here on my computer. Uh, words like uh, trigger warning, words like penis, testicle, uterus, penis, uterus, you know, penis, vagina, uterus, testicles, and vulva will be used in these videos. I am a Bible believing Christian, so I say may take you off. The people that say they're Christian but believe in the Bible, what they say may take you off. Uh, what do you mess them up? What they say, take you off. The people that say God is evil, which is wrong, and what they say, take you off. The people that say God is does not exist, which is wrong, and what they say, take you off. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yes, there are. I have my computer screen over here with the screenshots of the uh, mostly negative comments uh, in response to my negative comments on uh, the transgender people talking about the, uh, about the transgender lifestyle, but no one's actually talking about the lifestyle, atheistic lifestyle, and uh, yeah, I'm like, you know, basically. Uh, I'm not going to show them. I'm not going to show any names or icons. So it'll be harder for people to say I'm harassing them because, uh, unfortunately, that is a thing and uh, a crappy thing. And uh, yeah, I got to watch out for that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Also, there are no particular order. Well, in some ways, there are particular orders. All right. Uh, we're going to go figure this out, you know, and just read this. Also, there's old and new in here. I'm trying to find the new stuff, but sometimes they, the older stuff comes in. And we'll, we'll figure that out. We're going to get in there. Now, let's see what we got next. Okay. Uh, someone says, here we're going to say, trans person being afraid of people finding out the truth. Mm -hmm. Some text. Mm -hmm. uh, has nothing to do with their validity. Uh, yeah, it actually does. Because the, if they're afraid of people finding out the truth about what biological sex they are, <laughs> you know, they are lying about what biological sex they are. Mm -hmm. You know, they are lying about what biological sex they are. So they try, for the people to find out the truth means that the lie will be exposed. And they will be exposed, and uh, yeah, we will be seeing, you know, there, you know, that's validity is one word they use to mean uh, correctness, you know, right, you know, correctness, which, yeah, is basically they're wrong, you know, they're not correct by saying that they're lying, well, they're lying about their biological sex, so yeah, it is. Let's see here. Uh, sometimes people are scared to come out because they may be surrounded by trans folks who do something horrible to them if they, you know. Uh, or because, of course, what they're doing is lying. They're trying to get away with. They're trying to sneak. They're trying to basically. They're not sneaking. They're trying to. Yeah, in ways, yes. They're trying to deceive people in the hopes that they will be you know, that they won't get you know, caught you know, in their lies. They'll be treated like they want to be treated, but that's bad news. You don't do that. You, know, you don't learn to live with what you have. You gotta learn that when someone hates on you because of how you look, it's not because of how you look. Yeah, it's about the, the people looking at you, hating on you because of that. So, okay, that's how it goes. Let's continue on here. I say a boy person with testicles saying he's a girl, or a girl person with ovaries saying she's a boy is lying. Because mm, it is. Uh, as a Christian, and as a Christian, I must stand against that. Mm. Then the person says, why would anybody want to lie about being so gender? They're not. Mm. Mm. Biological sex. Mm. <laughs> you know? And um, because then they believe that it's better to be the other biological sex than the one that they are. Mm. So they will lie and disguise themselves in order to try and do that. And that's bad news because that's lies. Mm -hmm. Make people love lies and hate truth. Mm -hmm. And basically, if you lie about stuff like this, then how can anyone trust you with anything else? Mm -hmm. That's just the bad stuff. You don't want to do that. So let's go. Uh, also, I am Christian too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone's messing up. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, someone's not doing things right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Someone's one of them Christians that don't believe in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says nothing about trans people. Actually, this is a lot of them. They don't use religion as an excuse to be horrible. And I say, actually, the Bible does say that lying and envy are wrong. Because the transgender lifestyle is based on lying and envy. So let's continue on here. So there are plenty of things about the transgender lifestyle in there. And that's my screenshot. Because it was erased before. Because that comment was erased before. So I'm make sure to tell them, yeah, I'm screenshotting this. <laughs> so yeah, I'm screenshotting that. So then it's screenshotted. So you, yeah, there it is. Continue on, please. What do you want? Good. Continue on, please. Yeah, I gotta work on this stuff. Yeah. What's that? Is it looking down? Yeah, no, I gotta move it over so it won't be on there. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you got a frame. I gotta work on that. Oh, 
Yeah, well, I'll work on that next part. Let's get you on here. Uh, that's a screenshot. Next. What does this person say? You know, yeah, about the my my best friend. This is comments from my best friend that kept the YouTube story. The story of my best friend that kept a huge secret from me, where a boy, first more a girl, first more with ovaries, talked about her friend that she thought was a girl, first more with ovaries, turned out to be a boy, first more with testicles, who's dressed up like a girl, saying he's a girl, and she's asking, well, what's wrong with him saying he's a dressed up like a girl, saying he's a girl? I'm like, that's a lie. So you can't be doing that. You may not be the same as other boys, no, because he's not. You know, no one is the same as anyone else. Uh, because we are all unique individuals, but still, you know, at least mentally speaking, physically speaking, of course, we are all humans. <laughs> That's the issue. We have to learn to, you know, learn to accept that. In fact, we are going to have, um, you yeah, know, be pretty similar physically. <laughs> okay. That's how it is. That's our species. We work on that. We are unique individuals mentally. So let's continue on here. Uh, someone says, I'm transgender, and my friend almost found out yesterday. I feel I feel how this girl, oh boy, feels, and it's honestly terrifying to think of somebody finding out, because they are learning to like lies and hate truth. They are deceived into thinking that if they are found out as the biological sex they were born as, then they would be treated worse than if they continue to lie and say that they are about their the sex they are not. And that's terrible. They shouldn't be doing that. Because if someone, again, if someone treats you badly because of you know, what you look like, that's, the, that's something just. If someone treats you badly because of what you look like, then that's on them. They are messing up. It's not because of your body. It's not because of what you look like. It's because they are messing up, thinking that the standard, that the standard of beauty, standards of you know stereotypes or whatever, are right when they're wrong. Mm, that's their deal. Uh, someone and uh, someone and someone says this, this other person, the same person I'm dealing with, and the other one says, uh, they were going, people who are trans aren't lying. Yeah, they are. Mm, that's what they want to understand. Oh, yeah. um, girl, people, girls, mm, people born with test ovaries. Mm, so I gotta say it right. Boys, people born with testicles, are saying they're girls. Mm, that's a lie. Girls born with ovaries are saying they're boys. Mm, that's a lie. Mm, you know, <laughs> and they don't say that because uh, like, I'm a man because I say so to the girls born with ovaries. Mm, so people born with ovaries. I'm like, uh, no, you're not. <laughs> you're born with ovaries. <laughs> like, you're not a man. <laughs> I am a woman, says the, the people born with testicles. I'm like, no, you're not. Because you're born with testicles. You're, that's a mess male. Sorry. <laughs> you know, it's just like, uh, mm. but the problem is, what does that mean to you is the most important thing. Obviously, they think that, the, you know, that sailing the truth is worse than lying. Mm, and that's bad. Oh, you got to help them stop doing that. Let's continue on. Uh, they are who they say they are. Uh, who they say they are. I mean, good point. Who they say they are. They may be who they say they are, but they are not what they say they are. Okay. They are lying about it. Get you on here. You need, and you need to respect that. You don't need to argue, agree, but you need to respect. And I say, I don't care who they say they are. I care about what they say they are. A person born with testicles will always be a male human. Mm, true. Mm. A person born with ovaries will always be a female human. Mm. Also, male female are not their identities, they are biologies. Mm, you know? Some of the things never, you know, a person I was been with before, you know, I'm not saying her name, she was born with ovaries, uh, but she's saying, I am a man because, uh, you know, I say so. Yeah. But I'm like, no, you're not. I was like, what? Man is different. And I'm like saying, she's like, she's saying, man, you know, the word man is different than the word male. Mm, like, no, no, it's not. Mm, you know? it's, well, okay. Mm, word wise, it is different. A different word. But, you know, she didn't see what's on to say. It's a social term. Mm, man, man is a social term. I was like, yes, that means male. <laughs> you know, so, you know uh, woman is a social term that means female. Mm, you know. So I'm manly, like yes, that means you are like a, a male. <laughs> you're saying you are like you have the same traits as a male does. <laughs> That's what that means. But she's trying to say, no, it's not. It means something different because um, and her reasoning, of course, was that she's saying no, it's not. It means something different because there are people born with testicles that say they're female. <laughs> I'm like yes, and I'm like they're lying too. <laughs> yes, they're lying too. And they need to be stopped. Stop doing that. It's effed up. <laughs> So that's how it goes. Mm. Continue on here. What do you got? Here we go. Continue on here. Next. And oh yeah, yeah. And uh, then the person, then this person over here says, "Here we go. There's a difference between biological sex and a gender identity. You call yourself a Christian, but isn't Christian a religion about all that love, acceptance of others, even if they're different from you or don't care, you don't agree with them? Yeah, yes. But here's the deal: love involves telling the truth. Mm. There's a stuff called tough love too. Mm, you know, you gotta stick with that." 
It's important. Mm -hmm. Speaking the truth in love is part of being Christian. Mm -hmm. That's what we got to work on. So I'll see. See you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and DeviantArt.